my with Twitch. Flamazons. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining us, hello. My name is Natalie and this is my channel, Music to Makeup. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about all about star seeds. I'm going to be talking about their traits, their omission, the stages of the spiritual awakening. And at the end, there's also going to be a quick quiz. So I'll leave a timestamp down in the description description bar below in case you just want to take the quiz so yeah um without further ado let's get into it but you know i have to do my plug if you do like this video please let me and youtube know by giving it a thumbs up and i would really appreciate it if you subscribed all right so what the hell are star seeds star seeds are souls who are not from our star system or galaxy but have chosen to incarnate on earth they have made the conscious decision to come to our planet to help it become the best version of itself to help the planet and its people ascend to a higher dimension in essence star seeds have deep personal connections to other stars planets or galaxies in the universe have lived many lives in many different galaxies before this one but have chosen to live a three-dimensional human experience right now have strong intuition and psychic abilities are part of an entire galactic family chose to live on earth at, at this exact time in history to help humankind be the best it can be. So here are some common traits of starseeds. Starseeds are human beings through and through and you wouldn't be able to discern them from a regular human being just by looking at them. They look, act, and talk like anyone else in this world. However, there are a number of traits that starseeds share. So, star seeds tend to be very empathetic and are able to relate to other people and animals with ease. Star seeds have totally unique personalities. Star seeds do not like rules or restrictions. Star seeds feel passionately about the earth, the environment, and the animals who live here. They are peaceful people who cannot stand conflict. They know they have a mission to complete here on earth and despite not always knowing what that mission is, they are extremely purpose driven and they often feel homesick for a place that isn't here on Earth because their true home is in the stars. Star seeds usually love anything that has to do with outer space, whether it be studying astronomy, reading their horoscope, or just looking up at the night sky. All right, so here are some special skills of the star seeds. They have an extremely strong sense of intuition. They can sense things will happen before they actually do, and they usually have one or more clairvoyant ability they can tap into. They enjoy a variety of psychic skills like telepathy and extrasensory abilities. Their dreams are incredibly vivid to the point where they might actually be visiting other worlds, dimensions, or speaking with their intergalactic family in their dreams. Maybe that's why I sleep so long, because I'm like, I don't want to be on Earth. I'm going to hang out with you guys. Starseeds have a keen interest in an understanding of metaphysics based upon the knowledge they obtained in previous star lifetimes. They are often some of the most creative people you will, uh, you will ever meet. They are able to use their artistic expression to make bold statements and even channel messages from their star families in the sky. These talents, interests, and skills enable star seeds to spot areas of need, offer assistance, and share love and hope with others. So what is a star seed's mission? Once awakened, star seeds go through a process of self-healing and self-actualization. They will need to truly embrace them and practice intense self-love. They learn more about themselves through meditation, creative endeavors, or traumatic events. No matter how they come into the knowledge that they are star seeds, their lives will be forever different in the best way possible. So how, there's a, couple, there's a few different ways you can find out that you're a star seed. So the first way is like the internet, YouTube. You know, you may have cross, come across a video on YouTube in your feed about star seeds and you're like, hmm, that kind of resonates with me. Let me see what this is about. So another way is a traumatic event. Not every star seed learns of their lineage on the internet or by a friend sending them a link. Many star seeds are awoken in this knowledge through some kind of life-defining experience. For example, traumatic events have a way of triggering this information in people. Accidents, the death of loved ones, extreme stress, and nervous breakdowns are all examples of occasions in your life that can open you up to this realization. Times of crisis cause human beings to make radical shifts in their life, and this can open up energetic space to learn about your star lineage. So that is essentially how I learned about it. I mean, YouTube helped me learn more about the topic, but 
my shift in perspective happened um, when I was at rock bottom. I was engaged, I had a wedding dress and everything, and found out he had been cheating on me for five months, that he did crystal meth, um, and I was codependent and had a lot of um, unhealthy patterns back then. And, you know, so I, that's who I was attracted to, but I, despite everything he did, like I still wanted to be with him and he chose her. Um, and I was just completely broken. I literally walked around like a zombie for like five months, cried every single day. And then I got to the point where I'm like, I am never gonna let that happen to me again. I'm never gonna let someone treat me like that again. And I know I can't prevent that, but I, that's when I started to, well, I, it first started by me reading books about how to get over your ex. And a lot of them talked about getting to know yourself and loving yourself. And that's when I got on the whole path of learning about myself and learning to love and accept myself, which led to my shift in consciousness and realizing my true purpose on earth. So another way is during a near-death experience, um, or it could be through meditation or by creative expression. It's also possible to awaken to the knowledge that you are a starseed through creative expression. Starseeds are extremely artistic and creative people, and as such, they have talents in the arts, painting, sculpting, dancing, singing, drawing, you name it. These arts have a meditative effect, meaning your mind and body can relax into a receiving state while you're engaged in them. This allows for information to pop into your head while you work, and the message that you are a starseed can be passed along this way. Like, that's how I feel when I'm, like, doing my makeup or making so doing anything creative I I just love not having to be anywhere and sitting and doing my makeup listening to music it is like very therapeutic and like meditative for me so you could be born knowing it there are some lucky star seeds who have been aware of their star lineage since birth this of course is quite rare and astonishing in nature these individuals are highly spiritual people They'll often know exactly what they want to do on this planet and spend their entire lives executing their goals. Or you may never find out. Some starseeds never actually learn about their star lineage. Since starseeds are human beings like the rest of us, there's often no reason for them to wonder or question where they are truly from. It's been suggested that only around 10 to 20 percent of starseeds will actually come to realize their true nature during their lifetime. While it may seem like a missed opportunity, we must also realize that everyone is on their own path and it is still possible to shift the Earth's energy for the better without consciously knowing you're a starseed. So what happens after you become a starseed? So you basically start to see the world in a completely different way. A sense of clarity appears in your life and you find that you can now answer many questions you had about yourself have a new idea of what's important to you and what's not, start to appreciate the beauty in everything around you, understand certain aspects of your personality that coincide with this new knowledge, you can look back at certain events in your lifetime with new understanding, Yes, and you can begin to utilize psychic and intuitive skills that you may not have even realized you had. So their mission consists of, they bring the light to the places on earth that need it, helping human beings who tend to fall into darkness with ease. They support other people as they learn to love themselves. They sh this motherfucker has a weight bench on his patio right above me. I'm like, really? <sighs> they share their powerful energy all across the globe. They aid anyone and anything needing, needing assistance. They encourage the planet to become the best version of itself. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about the life cycle of a starseed. So phase one is a soul's decision. The first part of the starseed's life cycle is actually being born on this planet. Before their lives begin, a starseed soul makes a decision to incarnate on Earth. When starseeds are born, they forget everything they knew before, their previous lifetimes, their knowledge, and their actual mission here on Earth. 
If you're wondering why this happens, and that's a good question, it's because their soul agreed to a fully human experience. To be human is to live in hu human life, to learn as you go. Starseeds must fully integrate into Earth's three-dimensional way of being. In order to make an impact on other people, it's important for starseeds to know how humans operate. Starting over also teaches starseeds soul lessons they wouldn't learn elsewhere. We all know that times of struggle generally help us in some way, whether by learning important lessons or adding life experience. When starseeds are in this first cycle of life, they may feel alone, depressed, or unworthy. They often don't feel like they have value or can't see that they someday will. They have major issues trusting other people and often cannot trust themselves. They're searching for answers and the longer they search, the more helpless they may feel. They tend to feel homesick for somewhere other than their actual home. They often feel like the world isn't fair, that they're a victim of circumstance, or just plain unlucky. Sometimes they'll act out and hurt others or even go on a path of self-destruction and hurt themselves. These common conflicts appear in many, but not all, star seeds, and can drive a person to deep despair or a, or a full-on breakdown. Luckily, their true selves are usually waiting on the other side of this darkness. Yeah, and that's essentially, you know, what I said earlier. Um, I was doing a lot of self-destructive things and really didn't care about myself or my life, and you can only make poor decisions for so long before you reach a crisis and yeah I hit rock bottom. Phase 2 awakening and healing. The next part of a starseed's life cycle is their awakening. When starseeds learn of their star lineage and star family it can be an incredibly reassuring, fe reassuring feeling. Difficult parts of their lives begin to make more sense when they look back at them with this new knowledge. Their entire perspective changes. What once may have seemed hopeless now suddenly feels just fine. They may begin to see the earth as a wonderful home for plants and animals and really appreciate nature. So yeah, that definitely happened with me. And since I was just talking about my failed engagement, you know, I'm able to look back and see that if that would have never happened, I would have never hit rock, I mean, I'm sure I would have hit rock bottom at some point, but that made me hit rock bottom and find the path of self-discovery and self-acceptance and learning that I was a starseed and it also you know helped me to realize that I was repeating unhealthy patterns and you know how to change them in this part of their cycle starseeds embark on a phase of self-healing as mentioned earlier for a starseed to truly shine they first need to heal themselves fully in this phase, they'll work on learning to love themselves. They'll also experience love for all beings and come into the understanding that we are all one. This grasp of unity and oneness will help put all their previous struggles into perspective. They'll work on strengthening their connection to their heart and harnessing this power for good. Phase three, fulfilling their mission. Once this level of self-love has been achieved, the next part of a starseed's life cycle is the era of embracing their star lineage. Now that they know what their gifts are, they aren't afraid to pass them along to others. They spend time helping others, the planet, and themselves. They are completely aligned internally, having lost all of their inner struggle. They can fully express themselves without any reservations and speak the honest truth. They dedicate their time to causes that will improve the planet for all who live on it. They share their gifts with everyone around them and have an infectious goodness to them that people can't ignore. They inspire others to become better versions of themselves, which in turn helps with the goal of raising the Earth's vibration. They may even work together with other starseeds in a large group to raise the consciousness of beings across the universe. And you know, like that's why I started this channel. Like I, in the hopes that I could inspire others to, you know, love themselves and just become a better version of themselves since I had gone through it. Phase four, death. Finally, a starseed will experience death just like the rest of humanity. Upon their death, their soul can choose their next experience. For example, they may choose to live their next life back on Earth. This may be because they feel they have unfinished business on the planet, or they may have fallen in love with our planet and simply want to experience life as a human once again. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> they could also decide to train other souls to come to Earth as starseeds based on their 
as starseeds based on their newly gained experience. They could choose to work on ascending to a higher level, whether that's becoming an angel, a guide, or an ascended master of sorts. They may want to go back and live their lives on their home planets where their previous friends and family are. All right. Death for a starseed can be completely natural or a choice their higher self makes. Many believe starseeds sign a contract to come to Earth and will check in with their higher selves throughout their lives to see how things are going. In rare circumstances, a starseed may choose to exit their contract early via communicating with their higher self or star family in dreams. This may be because they feel their goal has been achieved or they may think they want to start over. In these instances, a physical death is experienced, though it is not done to oneself. After all, these communications are happening between your higher self and the cosmos, not your human ego mind. Following their human death, the soul decides if they want to try again on Earth or live a different kind of life. Alright, so here are some shared traits of starseeds. The first one is empathy. One of the most common shared traits among starseeds is that of empathy or being able to sense the emotions of others. Empathetic people can easily relate to others on a basic human level. Starseeds tend to be inquisitive in conversation as they are genuinely interested in learning about the lives of other humans on Earth and people's experiences beyond their own. Their soul has a desire to soak up its surrounding and learn as much as possible about Earth and its people during this lifetime. So another trait is homesickness. Um, this feeling may be hard to express or identify. In fact, you may have felt this emotion but not realized it was a trait you had until reading this just now. This feeling of homesickness for the stars can manifest in a few different ways. It can feel like a constant search for some, something feeling like home that is never satisfied. You don't belong in your community or society as a whole or a gut feeling that no matter where you look, nowhere will feel like home. Starseeds feel this way because deep down inside, their soul is homesick for their original home among the stars. Their higher selves know that the town, state, or even country they live in isn't their true home. To find it, they must look to the stars. Unfortunately, this homesickness can manifest as loneliness or even depression at times. Yeah, that's definitely something I couldn't relate to. Um, I've always felt that way, even though for the longest time I couldn't verbalize what it was. I just felt like I didn't belong here. So the next shared trait is shape against restrictions. Just imagine the life and times of cosmic beings living their lives in outer space. They have the ultimate freedom. They are not held to the same three-dimensional restrictions humans are born into and their perception of space and time is different than ours. Their infinite wisdom is incredibly vast and the technology they can access is more complex than the human mind can comprehend. Their lives are lived in ways we can only dream of. Because of this, it shouldn't be too surprising to learn that another shared trait of starseeds is they don't like having restrictions placed on them. Going from having the entire universe at your fingertips in one soul's incarnation to being restricted to a human body living under human rules in another can be a difficult transition. We can relate to this on a human level too. Have you ever moved out of your family's house and then had to move back in for the summer, a family trip, or in order to save money to buy your own place? When you return to where your parents reside, they often treat you as you used to be, younger, less wise, and less experienced. You find this incredibly frustrating and either rebel against their rules completely or learn to despise them. Kids have also been known to have a distaste for the rules of society. They aren't used to being told they can't do something, so it's hard for them to recognize authority. In extreme cases, some starseeds will recede from society and live in the middle of nowhere where they feel they can live a less restricted life. Usually they are all at least slightly rebellious. All right, the next shared trait is a love of animals. Starseeds seem to have an immense affinity for animals. Maybe it's because where they're originally from, all forms of sentient life are respected and given the opportunity to live full lives. Starseeds see all life forms as an intelligent being and believe they should be treated the same as humans. So the next shared trait is uniqueness. Another trait all starseeds share is being unique, truly one of a kind people. Call it being a free spirit or doing things their own way, but all starseeds have this in common. 
their hearts are in the right place and they're here to complete their mission. They just might not fit society's idea of an average person. But star seeds are best off appreciating themselves for who they are real, really and not trying to fit in. That's e easier said than done though and star seeds do often struggle with feeling like outsiders. The truth is they feel different from other people because they are different. Being social can be difficult for them so they may choose to stay home rather than go out. They often make a couple close friends and don't bother expanding that small trusted circle. To them it's not worth being dismissed, laughed at, or questioned. Others become homebodies but build a so thriving social life online where they can more easily choose a community they feel comfortable with. Purpose Driven Another shared trait of starseeds is a strong desire to succeed. There is always a very strong fire that burns inside a starseed. This is because their soul is very goal oriented. Since their soul has a specific mission at heart, whether that person has awakened to it or not, they have a certain inner motivation. This trait reveals itself in a multitude of ways. It can be as simple as starting projects and always finishing them. It can show up as a competitive nature. And it can mean working really hard on their goals and never giving up. However a starseed manifests this trait, they always push themselves to do their best and they usually succeed. And the last shared trait, peacemakers. No matter the situation, starseeds are peace-loving beings. The reason for this is believed to be because so many starseeds come from war-torn homelands. If you can imagine the mindset of someone who has been bloodshed, suffering, and their homes destroyed because of war. Just like anyone on earth who has lived through the same trauma, they wish all disagreements could come to a diplomatic rather than military solution. Similarly, starseeds also bring peace to their everyday lives through their relationships. They have a very low tolerance for getting into disagreements with their loved ones. They know that every being in the universe is connected, so it's stressful for them to see others fighting. Starseeds tend to step in and try to defuse situations that are boiling over. Okay, so here are some unique abilities of starseeds. Strong intuition. Past life memories. Manifestation. Their um, ability is creativity. If there's one trait all star seeds share, it's that they are incredibly creative beings. Yeah, it's taken me a long time to learn that I cannot live without being creative. It helps my emotional well-being somehow. Alright, so next is going to be the quiz. And it's actually, you're going to see me change because I filmed this video before, but just the audio was really really bad the microphone I bought two microphones and neither of them work with my camera and long story but yes yeah, so this is the quiz are you a starseed okay so there is a quiz to find out if you're a starseed um I guess I'm gonna do it uh, real quick so there are 20 questions so if you want to get a piece of paper and number it 1 through 20 um, I'll go through it real quick <coughs> All right, number one, which word best describes your personality? A, outgoing, B, introverted, or C, unique? Two, how often do you look up at the stars? A, daily, B, sometimes, C, not very often. Number three, what are your dreams like at night? A, pretty boring and mundane, B, extremely vivid and mystical, or C, I don't remember them at all. Number four, are you empathetic towards other people and situations? A, yes, always. B, sometimes. C, never. Number five, what do you generally do in an argument? A, sit back and listen. B, dominate the conversation. Or C, anything that will end the argument. Six, how often do you feel lonely and or isolated? A, always. B, sometimes. C, never. Number seven, how do you feel about outer space? A, I don't care too much. B, it's cool, pretty interesting. Or C, I'm completely fascinated by it. Number eight, have you ever had any psychic or clairvoyant experiences? A, yes, many. B, maybe, I'm not sure. Or C, no, none. 
Nine, do you ever feel like you don't belong? A, sometimes. B, all the time. C, never. 10, how do you feel about animals? A, I like them. B, I don't care for them. C, I really, really love them. 11, what's your preferred genre of entertainment? A, comedy. B, science fiction. Or C, drama. 12, how often do you find yourself daydreaming? A, always. B, sometimes. C, rarely. 13, do you feel homesick often? A, not really. B, sometimes. Or C, yes, all the time. 14, have you studied metaphysics before? A, yes, I know all about it. B, I'm familiar but not an expert. Or C, no. 15, which of the following is most important to you? A, your safety. B, your happiness. Or C, your freedom. 16, when you were a child, did you have a hard time fitting in? A, always. B, sometimes. C, never. 17, how many pets do you have? A, zero to two. B, three to five. C, five or more. 18, do you feel like you have a mission to fulfill in your life? A, yes, absolutely. B, maybe, maybe not. Or C, no, not really. 19, do other people's actions confuse or completely mystify you? A, yes. B, sometimes. Or C, rarely. 20, has anyone ever called you an old soul? A, I don't think so. B, maybe once or twice. Or C, actually all the time. Okay, so now I'm going to go through them, and depending on your answer, you'll get either one, two, or three points. So for question one, if you chose A, it's one point, B is two points, and C is three points. Question two, A is three points, B is two points, C is one point. Question three, A is two points, B is three points, C is one point. Question four, a is three points, B is two points, C is one point. Question five, A is two points, B is one point, C is three points. Six, A is three points, B is two points, C is one point. Seven, A is one point, B is two points, C is three points. Eight, A is three points, B is two points, C is one point. 9. A is 2 points, B is 3 points, C is 1 point. Question 10. A is 2 points, B is 1 point, C is 3 points. 11. A is 2, B is 1, C is 3. Question 11. A is 2, B is 3, C is 1. 12. A is 3, B is 2, C is 1. 13. A is 1. B is 2. C is 3. 14. A is 3. B is 2. C is 1. 15. A is 2. B is 1. C is 3. 16. A is 3. B is 2. C is 1. 17. A is 1. B is 2. C is 3. 18. A is 3. B is 2. C is 1. 19. A is 3. B is 2. C is 1. And 20. A is 1. B is 2. And C is 3. So add them all up. And so if you got 40 to 60 points, you are definitely a starseed. Congratulations, you are most likely a starseed. From the answers you provided, it's clear you have quite a lot of qualities typical of a starseed. You're highly empathetic, you're a highly empathetic being, and can connect easily with a lot of people and animals. So if you received 36 to 45 points, you're probably a starseed. So you share many of the same qualities as starseeds. 
You may feel lonely or disconnected from the rest of society at times, and that's entirely normal for star seeds. So if you received 20 to 35 total points, you could be a star seed. Um, it's hard to say for sure if you're a star seed or not. All right, guys. So um, I hope that this video was informative. Um, maybe some of you realized that you are a star seed or just learned some more about what exactly star seeds are, their traits, and their purpose. So, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.